So this is the bathroom pretty much done. Uh, Kitty is helping. She's been a good assistant. And I am using crutches. Hello, girl. You getting in the way? Hi. Using crutches to hold the baseboard on the front of the tub since you can't nail it to there. And make it all nice across the front of the bathtub. Hide the edge of the linoleum. Cat loves the water. Loves to play in the bathtub. Crutches on both sides. And I did all the tiling in here. All finished. Trim around the ceiling. Make it real easy to hide the corners of the god-awful 1950s drywall. Nice shower curtain with this really cool matching one that has like blue and gold and tan on it and it kind of matches the whole room piece by piece. Nice window and I put this cool gear driven uh, vinyl curtain in here with a nice little trim mount or valence and all that stuff and it mounts and runs real easy and smooth and it's solid so you don't have to worry about it. Nice fixtures Neat little shelf because the wall, the room was like two inches wider than the bathtub, so we had to build this little dealio, put lights or something on it, and cat toys, and cool faucet that allows you to set the temperature, and then you just turn it off and on, and it'll always go to your favorite temperature, so you don't have to mess around with perfect adjustments every time you get in. The cat loves it; she wants me to turn on the tap so she can play and uh, <laughs> get all wet. I used vinyl baseboards. It's actually vinyl lumber. Um, solid white PVC or uh, um, plastic squares basically all the way around um, and what that enabled me to do was when I come down here and I have to hump around the tile I cut it with a sawzall and uh, then I just silicone it onto the wall and use the nail gun wherever there's wall behind it and here in the corner I cut a half piece and bent it with a heat gun so it would just stick to the tile with silicone and then I'll silicone the edges and uh, cover up the uh, the corners and stuff like that and put a bead of silicone around the top and the bottom of this baseboard which I painted up on the front of the tub so it actually looks like a little bit nicer on the front of the tub there and I had to shave underneath there because there's a hump in the floor the floor seems come out like this and then curves up a little in the middle of the room so I shaved it off and then I'll just hide it with a bead of silicone and it's siliconing to the tub as we speak uh, I'm putting a great big medicine cabinet recessed in the wall back here with a door that slides to the side instead of opening up. They're really neat, uh, made in the States as soon as I get the money and the time to put it in. And the needle shower curtain rod and the old mirror, fancy taps. I put a piece of lino on the wall that kind of matches the uh, tile and that's because the back of the toilet sits almost against the wall and kind of damaged the paint a bit after I painted so I stuck that on there and you won't see it behind the tub, uh, toilet anyway. Oh that's fun. And then last year I put this awesome light in. It's a solar tube and what it does is pipes in the sunlight from outside or the moonlight, it works at night too, and enhances it through this collector on the roof that looks like a little spaceship. So you always get a little bit of light and you never have to use the uh, vanity lights unless you're filming a video or putting on makeup or something. It has a fan built in and the fan is like two feet up in the attic. It's a turbine. It's like a jet engine instead of one of those stupid little box with a uh, crappy motor on it. It's got a really nice turbine motor on it. Sounds great. And rather than put wires down the wall and add a switch here where there's not a lot of room, I uh, this is the light switch for the hall lights. This is a wireless power transmitter. It looks like a switch. You just stick it on the wall, and uh, up in the attic I wired the power box in. So I can just stick this here, a few AAAs last most of the year, and uh, no wires required. So it was a really easy install. So pretty cool. I've been working on this for quite a while in stages, so I'm really proud that it's finished. I mixed the paint colors myself a couple of shades lighter for the ceiling than the walls. All good paint and sealed the uh, tile up myself and put this cool trim around everything to make it square. There's a handy tip. If you don't have a square room, at least make your tile job a little more square with this steel trim that you can get in all kinds of different colors and sizes so that it's easy to tile up to and then the tile guy doesn't charge you as much. Anyway, everything's all sealed and waterproofed and uh, 
Now the cat has somewhere to play because she's been locked out of here during construction. Isn't that right? That's right, girl. Yes. Savannah cats love the water. And they like to be involved with everything that goes on. So there's that. And in here is the toilet, which everyone thinks is really funny that it just kind of sits here facing the door. So you can have a seat. <laughs> and just kind of, yeah, it's funny. Everyone gives me a look. But yeah, super fancy toilet, American Standard Cadet 3. One of those nice ones that flushes an entire bucket of golf balls or like 18 cell phones or something like that. And there's videos on the internet on YouTube and stuff about it. Super low uh, water consumption and super high power. And that kind of will complete the uh, modern bathroom in the 1955 house. Pretty nifty. Looks nice. I love it. You can finally have a shower and a bath upstairs instead of going down to the basement. And the cat jumps in sometimes too. It's kind of hilarious when she jumps in the bathtub full of water.